Hello and welcome to AutoCAD. So in this lecture, we are going to see one more use of ChatGPT in AutoCAD. And with the help of ChatGPT, we are going to create a custom rectangle tool. So in the previous video, we have seen that how to use ChatGPT to create a list file. And here also we are going to see, uh, we are going to create this custom tool using the list file. If you haven't watched the previous video, and if you don't know about what is list file, you can just check out the link that I'm going to provide in the description of the previous video. And you can just check out what the list file is. Now let's just see. So what I'm talking about is that for that, I'm going to open my AutoCAD. And in AutoCAD, we have seen that the most common way to create a rectangle is using this rectangle tool. But in this rectangle, if I'm going to click on this rectangle, it will going to ask you for the corner point. So we have to specify the corner point first, and then accordingly, it will going to create the rectangle using the dimension or the procedure that you are going to follow. But let's say that we don't want uh, this corner to be asked. I want uh, the center part to be a uh, center point to be asked. So what I'm talking about is that I'm going to first create, it will going to ask you for the center point and then it will going to create a rectangle uh, providing the values. So I'm not, I'm not, it will still not ask this corner. It will, instead of that, it will going to ask the center. So that kind of rectangle is not present in AutoCAD. So we are going to create that custom tool or custom rectangle tool using the chat GPT. So it's very easy. You just have to go for the chat GPT. Like I'm inside my chat GPT and you have to write a query like write uh, AutoCAD, write an AutoCAD Lisp program to create a tool that will ask send, uh, uh, to create a tool of for center for creating center rectangle for creating center rectangle. This will be the perfect query, I think. So once you have written the query, you just have to paste, uh, tell ChatGPT about this, press the enter button and it will automatically going to create you the program. But here you can see that uh, it has created this list file, but here it is uh, asking, it is telling that it is, uh, it has created the program for corner points. Let's just see what will going to happen if I'm going to run this program. So how to run this? You have to copy this code and then you have to go for inside the AutoCAD. And here you just have to type vlisp in the command box and our interface will going to open. In that you have to paste uh, this list file that you have created. So I'm going to close the previously used uh, things over here. I have to go for this file. I'm going to click on this new file and a fresh page will going to open. And here you have to paste the code that you, the chat GPT has created for you. So you can see that this is the code over here. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste this in this uh, interface. And then I'm going to click on this file. Just click on the save and it will going to be saved as a Lisp source file. It will going to ask you for the folder where it will going to be saved. So I have already created one folder and in that only we are going to save it. But you can just provide any name, but make sure that you don't change the save type. It is list source file over here. So I'm going to name it as center rect. You can have any name, just make it save. And once it has been saved, it is going to be saved in the folder. So this is the folder. And here you can see that this is that center rect list file that we have created. Now the work of this interface is done. So I'm going to close this one. And again, I'm going to open my AutoCAD. And in that I have to load up the file that I've created. So how to load it? For that, I'm going to open that folder. And uh, it's a very simple way. You just have to drag and drop it on the AutoCAD screen. So I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it on the AutoCAD screen. And you can see that it will going to ask you, a dialog box will going to pop up. Basically, it is telling you that uh, this uh, 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 file is uh, basically not verified in AutoCAD. So whether you want to load it or not. So yes, I want to load it. So I'm going to click on this load once or you can just click on this always load also. Click on this one and it, the command is not being loaded up. So what's the name of the command? It is written over here. You can see that the name of the command is ctrect. So you have to type ctrect over here and let's see what will going to happen. Type ctrect. And in the command box, you can see that this is the command. Click on the enter button and then you can see that the error was again. It is asking you for the corner point instead of the center point. So it has created a conventional rectangle. So we don't want this. So we have to tell 
chat gpt that you have created it is asking you for the corner point but i want to, i want that it should ask me for the center point so again i'm going for the chat gpt and i'm going to tell chat gpt that rewrite this program this program such that such that it will ask you it will ask the center point center point instead of corner point so i have i have told up the query and you can see that now it has created a new program that is basically it is asking you for the center point so now what you have to do you have to again copy this code and now you don't have to open that vlisp interface you just have to go for this folder just the open this uh, file and now delete everything that is present on this folder and paste the fresh code that it has created you press the control plus v button and it will going to be uh, written over here click on the save and it will going to save this fresh uh, list file now now again you have to load the, this into the autocad so again i'm going to open the autocad and again i'm going to open that folder drag this and drop it on the screen again this folder will going to be loaded up now let's just type the name of the command again just press enter now you can see that instead of the corner it is asking you for the center point click on the center point and then it will ask you for the width value so i'm going to write width and height and you can see that again it will going to create a perfect center rectangle now uh, let's just see uh, whether it is working fine or not so for that i'm going to create a line and i want uh, that i want a rectangle that should uh, take uh, this uh, end point as a center point and accordingly it should create a rectangle so let's just try it so i'm going for the ctr rect command ctr rect and again press enter enter the center point so i'm going to click on this end point and it will be going to take that as a center point for the width and height you can take any value let's just take it as 30 and 30 and now you can see that it has created the rectangle that is taking the center point of as an end point of this line or the end point of this line is the center point of this one. So this is how you can create a custom tool in AutoCAD uh, using the chat GPT. You just have to create a list file, whatever tool that you want, and AutoCAD, uh, chat GPT will going to create that program for you. It may have the different name. Here you can see that the name is, it is kind of taken the name as CTR, right? but if you want your own name, you can just tell chat GPT that rewrite this program, this program, with the name as let's say the center ctr that will be perfect and you can see that uh auto uh, chat gpt will going to again write this program with the name ctr now the tool will going to be popped up when you are going to write ctr in the command box so these are the upgradation that you can do and uh, again um, in my case it has asked it has only have one error so i have told chat gpt that uh, just Create, uh, recreate the program fixing out that error it may have many errors so you have to just paste that error that is showing up into the chat gpt and chat gpt will going to uh, rewrite the code uh, following that error so this is how you can just use a chat gpt for creating a custom tool if you like this video then please do like press the like button make sure to subscribe this channel with the bell icon so that you will going to get every up, up, uh, updates that we are going to create thank you and catch up you in the next one